this is Metal Days 160 here, and today I bring you State of Decay, a survival open world zombie game. Um, it's also a sandbox, so basically you can just go anywhere you want. Um, this is a pretty cool game, pretty pretty, pretty cool game. It's on Steam right now. Uh, it's an early access type game, which means that uh, the, it's still under development, but while it's under development, you can play it. Not exactly a beta, but, you know, they released the game, but, you know, it's still under development, so they're still changing stuff, and you get constant updates, which is good, though, which means that, you know, people play it, and they complain, hey, you know, the AI sucks, or something's wrong with the weapons, or whatever, so then, you know, while they're developing it, they go and fix all those problems and it comes out in the next patch so um, I think that's pretty good a lot of people just say oh, give me the final product and uh, I'll be good uh, you know either way I still get to enjoy the game even though it's un still under development but um yeah so um, back to the game <laughs> this is a um, this is a really cool game like I said before uh, it, it takes place out in the, out in the wild uh, you're this guy called uh, Marcus, and um, you know you're on a camping trip with a friend of yours from work, and then all of a sudden, you know the the, the zombies start to attack. So you have no idea what the hell's going on. You have no TV, no radio, no nothing. So you know you're to you there's just a bunch of guys with rabies or something. So um, so anyway, this game was originally. Uh, slated as a uh, as a mod for Grand Theft Auto 4, if I recall correctly. But then the guys who were making it decided to just make it a full game, and this is what this is what we got. So if you see some similarities with uh, GTA 4, mm, it's it's because of that. Um, but I think that this game is definitely a standalone game. Uh, it's really good. And uh, so let's get started. Oh, before uh, I'm, I'm thinking about before I start, I'm thinking about making this a uh, a let's play for now uh, because I don't know. I really enjoy playing this game, and I think I should you know bring it to you guys. And also because right now I need some sort of distraction because there's no freaking heat in my apartment in my apartment building. I should say I do pay the heat. Okay, guys, I do pay the heat. The thing is that it's so freaking cold here. I don't know what happened the boiler or something downstairs in the basement just flipped and um, we have no heat and it's also like I don't know four degrees Fahrenheit right outside right now we're getting like the coldest winter in a while I live in Boston so <laughs> I'm freezing my butt off so this is some sort of like a distraction so I'll um so that's why I'm kinda doing this let's play so <laughs> let's uh let's give it a whirl shall we Hold on, I'm coming. All right. I think these guys want to eat us. Watch it. Boom. <laughs> I love these finishes. You okay? One of those psychos tried to bite me, but yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, we can't just stay out here in the open. That's for damn sure. Ranger station? Ranger station. Maybe we can find some help there. What the hell, man? We're gone two weeks and what? Everybody takes up cannibalism? Bees me. Okay. Alright. So you're this guy, right? You're, uh, you're Marcus. And, um, later on, once you recruit more people, you will, uh, you'll be able to switch. I'll explain that in a bit. Hold on. You just gotta, um, uh, look at this part here. So, this game is a, uh, it's sort of like Grand Theft Auto, uh, uh, mechanic wise. Um, but it's more of like a survival RPG type thing. As you can see, you have your diary here. You have everyone's, you know, the days leading up to the apocalypse and all that. Um, you have this guy, Marcus Campbell, who is you right now. Um, tells you what your cardio is, wits, fighting, shooting, powerhouse. So every person you meet or recruit and are able to use, um, they they have their own stuff. So this guy is good for fighting. This guy's good with blunt objects. But then uh, later on, we'll have somebody who uh, who shoots well, 
and all that. So, this is your buddy Ed. This is me. And this is my inventory here. Alright, it doesn't look like much. This is the backpack I'm using. I'll explain everything as we go on. I played a little bit of this game a while ago. I don't remember much, but this stuff I do remember. Weapons have durability, so they can easily break. And, um, um, each person has their own attributes and attitudes. So, you know, this guy's a born leader. He was a clerk, loved hiking, natural athlete. So this guy's a lot of stamina. This guy's an accountant, loved to idle, <laughs> team player. So this guy will basically follow you anywhere. Um, so, you know, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. They mix the role-playing elements into a survival uh, zombie game. A lot of people think that, you know, they're like, Oh, well, what about Dead Island? Well, Dead Island was cool, but... I don't know, I kind of like this Jason mechanics asshole. better. Right, we, we don't want any trouble. Yeah. And as you can see... Oh, shoot. The stick is already damaged. If you guys can see in the bottom left corner, there's the map. And right on top of it, it's like a yellow... Hold on, right now. It's like a yellow stick. That means that your the weapon that you're using right now is its durability sucks. So basically that it, if in a little bit it's going to break if you keep on using it. Now, let me explain something else. Uh the blue bar is your health, the right bar, oh, I'm sorry. Is it? No, the blue bar is your stamina, sorry. And the right bar uh, the red bar is your health. Uh, on the bottom it tells you what your objective is, on the right it shows you what um, item you have equipped, usable item like uh, medicine or whatever. And um, and if you could see the, uh, the, the arrow right in the middle of the circle of the map, there's like a blue ring. As you can see I'm running, there's a blue ring there. That is the noise that you're making. So you gotta keep it quiet. Like for example, if I walk really, really, really quiet, the zombie that's straight ahead is not going to hear me. Even even if I crouch and all that, he's not going to hear me. Right? Okay, but if I go like that, and wait, okay, this is not good. Okay, that demonstration really sucked. Sorry. <laughs> that demonstration really sucked. But let's, let's look at this guy. See? I'm running, and all of a sudden he stops eating whatever he's eating, and then yeah. stay low and keep quiet. Then he comes at us. Get past him without being spotted. And your buddy helps you. Oh shoot, there's like four zombies over there. I don't want to use my weapon, so we're gonna crouch. Also, if you hide in the bushes, that basically makes you invisible to zombies, unless they see you go into the bushes. Do this, yeah. Because when, when when you crouch, you you don't make any noise. So you're basically unless the zombie like sees you and you're like right next to him, he'll detect you. So you're supposed to go to the ranger station. So this game is really cool. As you can see, the environment um the environment is there. Um, it it totally takes you in. And also, there's night and day in here. So that's another plus. Um. When it's daytime, you see everything. When it's nighttime, it's really nighttime. It's not like, oh, the moonlight or whatever. Uh, you you won't be able to see a lot of things. You won't be able to see zombies, like, um, you know, in between the trees or anything like that. So it, the environment is really there. So here we're at the ranger station. And we're going to have a cutscene here. Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. But I've got injured people here I have to tend to. Okay, we'll see what we can do. We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need and stay safe out there. Okay. Press select to view your map. Okay, so this is the map and objectives or n mission opportunities, as it says here on the left, are marked it with a green with a green circle. And the one the green circle with the crosshair is your uh, waypoint. The well, anyway, you guys can read it. Safe zone means that um, 
the zombies won't won't exactly come in per se like they won't spawn in that area but if, if you make noise or whatever they'll follow you and what's good about this too is you can make this like your mini fortress you could build a barricade because zombies do come in through the windows you know so that stuff is cool and you have your own little supply locker here which there's almost nothing in here oh cool alright taking the weapons taking the meds also um oh if you hold right trigger cheer taunt disagree whatever and you could talk to the guys like for example these people won't come with me but it says here come with me and watch my back people who you recruit and are willing to do that they will you can um, ask them to go with you on missions so you won't be alone and you'll have help so he told us to go to the water tower which is right here good sight lines up there and uh, this is gonna be kinda like Assassin's Creed for those who've played it you know how in Assassin's Creed you climb up the come on man you climb up the tower and you get the eagle vision and all that well here it's more like the same thing except that you have to do it manually you okay. survey stuff gonna take a look around as you can see there's little question marks that pop up once you're up here or, or on a high point and you look at it for a while and it tells you what it is so we're gonna do that throughout the whole area here surveying his face public restroom that's where we came from there's another campsite there's another one over there. There's something else There's all the way down there. Want to check out. Okay. That's all there is to see. And they and they tell you. You hear him say. Gunshots. Yeah. Guess we're not the only ones having a bad day. Gunshots. Oops. I took some damage. Stupid me. Yeah. You don't. Oh shoot. Get over here. Get over here. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it takes a while to kill off the zombies. So each zombie is different. Either you kill them off with one blow, or you have to hit them quite a few times. So we're gonna check out. He told us to check out the cabins here, so we're gonna check out or the tents or whatever. All quiet here. So all quiet here means that there's no zombies around. And there's some stuff that you can check. Except that here there's nothing to check. Oh, here they are. Hold the search for supplies. If you want to search fast, you, you hit the uh, left, the left uh, button. Yep, but you make more noise, exactly. So here we have uh, stamina. And, uh, here's more meds. We're gonna get some stamina. Because your stamina runs out after a while. Because uh, you get tired. And once you get tired, you your stamina lowers. So you'll be able to fight a lot less. Here we go. That's why later on you need to rest certain people. And change up. Switch characters so you let the other characters rest up. Oh cool. We got another backpack. Much bigger one. So let's let's equip that. Um there you go. Now we got a much bigger backpack. As you can see, two more slots were uh were made available for us. Is there anything else in here that we should check? Yes, right here. And once you check everything, an X appears on the spot that you were as you can see in the map on the mini map on the right oh nice more weapons actually no that's another backpack but that's a light one I don't want to carry that lights up the area good for nighttime zombie I don't I don't really use flares but they can come in handy let's um let's put this thing here let's destroy that we don't need that Oh, we didn't check it thoroughly yet. There should be another 
thing here. Yep, right here. Ooh, this looks like a gun. This looks like a gun. Nice. Alright guys, I'm gonna end it right here because my time is definitely running out. So but we'll continue straight straight on from here in the next episode. So catch you guys in the next episode of uh Let's Play the Let's Play of State of Decay. I'm Metal Days and I'm signing off. See ya.